The London Underground. Millions of people use it every day to get across London, but a recent study has shown that it is one of the dirtiest and unhealthiest places in London. Every time these people go on the tube, they are obliviously exposed to dangerous levels of particulate matter that in places are 10 times above the World Health Organization guidelines. I think for people who are using, using the tube uh, on a normal basis, I don't think I want to alarm people. Um, but the King's evidence suggests that about 9,000 people a year are dying prematurely because of air pollution uh, and spending time in London Underground could be a contributing factor. What's a real concern to us is the workers who are down there, who are there all day, every day. So rather than people who are spending a short amount of time in the tunnel as they're travelling to and from work, for example, uh, people who are working down there and breathing in that air uh, seven days a week. Breathing in polluted air can contribute to heart disease, lung disease and a whole range of different health conditions uh, and there's mounting evidence that this is causing premature deaths in London. The British Safety Council is calling on the government to take action. We want to see clear targets in the Environment Bill, we want to see the World Health Organisation targets on particular matters set so that uh, governments have an obligation to make sure our air is clear. Air pollution is something that changes all the time, so it's hard to predict what's going to happen. Uh, in terms of the measures you should take, it's spending time uh, indoors and away from polluted air, making sure you're not spending time near construction sites, near traffic. Um, but really, uh, air pollution is something we all have to work on together. It's difficult for you as an individual to control the quality of the air you're breathing.